Okay, we are back with Tom from Vail Mountain Rescue, and we just heard about your busy week that you had last week. Your walkie-talkie is sitting here on the table because you're on call right now. That's, that's correct. Uh, I'm the mission coordinator right now, uh, and uh, so we're, we're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Wow. We have somebody you know, that is a mission coordinator scheduled every day. Um, if, you know, we take it usually a week at a time from 7 a.m. Monday morning to the 7 a.m. the following Monday morning. Um, you know, here and there we have some, you know, meetings and conflicts and so we have other people cover for us. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're ready to go. And with a page on, on EC Alert, we can have our team ready and wow. within, you know, 30 minutes to an hour we'll be out the door and and heading in into the backcountry and going to do whatever your mission is based on so when you get these calls do you make the judgment on how you're gonna like do it what course of ash action you're gonna take yeah it, it really does depend on you know what's happened um, where you know if if it's you know just somebody lost we're gonna you know slow down take our time um, try to get as much information as we can you know where they were hiking to, when they were supposed to be out. You know all these kind of th things, um, rather than a medical like we've had. You know this week where, you know we we have to be a little quicker. Um, yeah. You know it could be life or death if if we don't get there in time. The guy with the ankle. And right. The boulder. Yes, I mean you know. You, you've we've all been up to Booth Falls. It's about two and a half miles. It's, you know, an, at least an hour hike up there. Yeah. And, you know, carrying, you know, litters and wheels and medical kits and all that, it, it slows us down a little bit, but not too much. So, you know, people have to be aware that, oh, we can't just, you know, drop in from a helicopter every single time. Yeah, make it magically happen right. to where you're there in that very instant. Yeah, you know, a lot of times I've been talking to you know, people that are either lost or, you know, stuck or something like that. And I say, well, how long did it take you to get where you were? And, you know, they'll say, oh, it was about four or five hours. I go, okay, well, that's how long it will take us to get there because we have to take the same route you took. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of times people don't understand that, that, you know, we don't have a helicopter sitting down in Eagle ready to go every every minute of every day. <laughs> All the time, 24-7, <laughs> right. that, that helicopter's on call too. Right. Um, you know, and also, you know, the, the biggest thing, you know, we did last week was we had our annual fundraiser. Um, we have a group of people that want to help us, but they're for whatever reason, they don't want to go into the field and be part of these missions, so they're raising money for us uh, to build our, uh, an endowment so that we don't have to go knocking on doors asking for donations yeah. you know, to run our team. Um, we, you know, we go through equipment, it gets old, it gets used, and we have to replace it. And you know, this is you know, just part of the cycle of a, of a mountain rescue team. I mean, you guys, what you do for the community is unbelievable, but the community is, like, the, the community here is so willing to give back. Oh, yeah, we can't thank them enough. Um, you know, over the last about four years, they've raised about one and three quarters million dollars for us to put in this endowment to fund us every year. Um, their goal is two million. And they hope by the end of the year that they'll be real close to that and they can stop, you know, knocking on doors and, and, and calling people yeah. and asking for money. And, Jeez. you know, it's just, it's, it's been a great weight off of our shoulders not having to go and raise this money. It, it, it allows us time to train, you know, to, to do the missions and, you know, and just rest on our, when we're not doing that. Yeah, when you're not straining your body to save <laughs> the community. Tom, I want to thank you so much again for being here this morning for two interviews with me, but also literally for what you do. I mean, you're sitting here on call right now to help out and protect the community. I think you guys are incredible. If you're looking for a great thing to do to give back to the community, donate to Vale Mountain Rescue because 
like I said, they're doing pretty much God's work here in the Vale Valley. Now coming up next, we're going to go check in with Eric, who's on a hike this morning for Epic Morning.